As responsible citizens who have inherited the great wealth of liberty and resource left to us by our founding fathers, we must remember that an action isn't justifiable only by virtue of the fact that it is possible to take such an action. The ability to accept and fully assimilate MSS in the United States on either a scientific or a legal basis is no justification for the accommodation of a scheme that undermines parental rights and other critically important elements of a healthy society. It is in light of these concerns that commercial surrogacy is outlawed or legally unenforceable in Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Denmark, France, Germany, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Netherlands, Malaysia, New Zealand, Norway, Pakistan, Portugal, Serbia, South Africa, Spain, Switzerland, Thailand, United Kingdom, Uruguay, and Vietnam. Traditional surrogacy in the United States usually involves the issuance of a legal document referred to as a pre-birth order, where state law allows for their issuance. The pre-birth order, or PBO, is a legal document facilitated by those in the legal profession that seeks to legally transfer parental rights away from parents prior to their child's birth. Therefore, under the scheme of MSS, the legal parents at the time of birth are no longer the actual parents, but individuals who entered into a contract to become the parents, all enabled by the fiat of the PBO and the arrogance of the courts who countenance them. Legislatures across the United States, the representatives of the people, should actively ban MSS. In an article for The Guardian, Kajsha Ekis Ekman rightly refers to surrogacy as the sale of human beings. This bill comes at the recommendation of the Colorado Commission on Uniform State Laws, which in this case clearly doesn't have the best interest of Colorado's parents, women, and children in mind. MSS and its associated scientific experimentation has created a whole new class of fabricated scientific and legal terms that include intended parent, a title that endows equal legal parental status to parents as well as to non-parents. This bill seeks to create a statutory falsehood by asking the state to sanction a process whereby those who are biologically responsible for the creation of an unborn human being are no longer defined as the parents of that human. The bill also requires that the child's birth certificate be falsified. Namely, under the bill, it is a violation of the law to list the true biological parents of the child on the birth certificate. This means that when these children become adults and desire to learn more about their family history, they will have no way to do so. The state of Colorado should not accommodate mad science surrogacy and must remember that just because something can be done doesn't mean it should be done. Wisdom and compassion dictate that we must always place the welfare of our citizens ahead of the interests of morally deficient scientific endeavors. Science should exist among other noble ends for the purpose of saving and healing life, not using it in a way that unnecessarily jeopardizes the welfare of those connected to its activities. We believe this bill is inconsistent with moral truth that is indispensable for this state and nation to survive and thrive. So that was the end of the Patriot League's statement to the legislatures or legislators concerning this bill. Good job with it sticking through the videos, the three parts, and learning more about this issue. Be sure to join the Pillar Citizen community if you haven't done so already. It's PillarCitizen.com. Until next time, this is Aaron Robertson for The Pillars.